Welcome back. You are now looking at the comment area inside of a card in a team related board. And as you know, all discussion activity in Trello happens at the card level. So anything that happens, you want the people who are on your team to see the activity and then take part in any discussion. This is going to be especially true when progress depends on files that you have uploaded. But there are going to be a few things that you're going to need to do to make sure that the possibility for discussion takes place. First, you'll want to go into your profile area, and then you'll want to go into your profile settings. You'll want to make sure that your notifications, at minimum, happen as often as possible so that you'll get the notification and you can decide on when you want to answer the discussion. You'll also want to require any team members to have this notification feature enabled in their account. One of the other things you can do is to go inside of your board menu and you can grab the link that is available and you can post it where your other team members are actually going to see it. If your other team members are using a website or internet, you will be able to use this link and they'll be able to access the board if they have access to the content through the Trello team invitation. You can also share at the card level. By going into the card and clicking share and more, you're going to notice that there is an embed here. And we can actually embed this code someplace where our team is going to be able to see it. In fact, we can paste the code inside of a WordPress post or page and publish that page. And then team members would have clickable access to that particular card through a specific website. What you are attempting to do with your activity as well as making the cards and boards available is to encourage discussion by making sure team members are notified of all relevant action and conversation. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.